Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Europa Park in Rust, Germany, and we have a massive news story about their 2023 roller coaster. Uh, we do have another update coming later this afternoon or this evening uh, from Canada's Wonderland, so stay tuned for that one. If you've seen the video from Amusement Insider, you know what I'm going to talk about. But that's for that video, this for this video, and we've got more details on what is set to be announced as the brand new coaster for 2023 at Europa Park in Bruges, Germany. Now, obviously we knew some details about the coaster already, we're going to go through that uh, after I've sort of plugged uh, what we need to plug. And in terms of plugging, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions, you knew it was going to lead to somewhere. Uh, please subscribe if you're new around here, click the OK so you never miss a YouTube video. Also guys, check the links in the description down below, social media links, Google Forms, you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And um, yeah, we've also got one more off-ride video which we need to upload from Rita, uh, so stay tuned for that one at some point during the next week or two. Uh, that was taken during the Alton Towers trip back at the end of June, uh, so stay tuned for that. And for now, let's get into this video and give you a bit of context first of all on the whole project. So, we knew already what, where it was being located and what we were expecting. We were expecting some kind of newer variation or a mix of different coasters into one new coaster or an improved coaster concept. Uh, this would be Mack Ride, it would open in 2023, it would be located where the Traumatica Halloween event currently is, which is a massive site. Um, and we now know some more details about what we're expecting. This is going to be or some kind of variation or some kind of improved variation of the Mac Big Dipper. Now, I'm going to share the details from a Loopings article which is linked in the description down below uh, with you right now and uh, share my thoughts on other things that I've heard about this coaster from other sources and forums and share my thoughts overall about the development. So, let's get into all the details via Loopings on the brand new Europa Park coaster for 2023. And trust me, you guys might want to get excited about this. So according to Loopings, Europa Park in Roos, Germany has concrete plans for the construction of a large new roller coaster. It's a roller coaster of the Big Dipper type manufactured by house supplier Matt Rides. Until now, two copies exist, one of which in Wolby, Holland. And for a bit more context, the other one is uh, Dynamite at Freisig Park Pallone in Germany. The uh, Wolby, Holland one is called Lost Gravity. That was the original prototype uh, born in 2016. Uh, will be opening the world's first Big Dipper roller coaster in 2016, Lost Gravity, a second version in the German amusement park Freisig Park Pallone since 2019. The new coaster in Europa Park would be a further developed version, in quotations, uh, with a launch. That's very exciting. That's the first I've seen of that bit. <laughs> I've never looked at this article before filming this video, so uh, I'm going to be surprised by reactions to this. Uh, so there's a launch in there. There is talk of a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, now, as in a location, a new themed area is envisioned to the north of the large roundabout located on the edge of the park that is close to the existing theme park, Greece. Uh, in the autumn, usually horror event Traumatica takes place there. The new roller coaster is not expected to tower above the well-known launch roller coaster Blue Fire. It's 38 meters high, and Europa Park hopes to open in 2023. The regional newspaper Latha Zentug reports uh, the zoning plan has to be changed before the attraction comes in, and that process has now started. The project is closely followed by critical politicians and local residents who fear noise, noise pollution. They can have their say about the plans in the near future. The attraction builder Matt Rides is owned by the Mack family as is Europa Park. In this way the park in southern Germany more or less functions as a showcase for Mack attractions and the existing Big Dipper roller course in the Netherlands and Germany do not have a launch but a classic lift tool with a chain. The carts consist of two rows of four seats, the outer seats of which have no bottoms. They're technically winged seats. Uh, now, in 2019, experiments were carried out with adapting the Lost Gravity carts. Matt Rides approached Wolby with the request to turn four of the eight seats so they wanted some of the passengers to experience the ride backwards. Those who know Swarm at Thought Park will know what that sensation feels like. Uh, the concept was tested, but after it was silent, the Wolby director, Masha Van Til, announced a year later that discussions were underway with the German manufacturer about the cost of the change. Uh, she said, we don't think we should pay for that, uh, and after the test, the seats were straightened back again. 
Now, this provides an interesting uh, link to something about what could be happening in the development, and I'm going to share my thoughts on that right about now. So that, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, that is all the details on Europa Pax 2023 Coaster, with some improved information. Possibly a launch, possible top speed of 80 kilometers per hour, a further developed version of the Matt Big Dipper roller coaster. Now I've heard from various forums, there's rumors about it being two tracks, there's rumors of it being a dueling coaster. We can't confirm that for sure, but I've heard that from various forums and sites uh, that there's possibly a dueling element to it, or two dueling uh, cars. Uh, obviously, like I said, we can't confirm that at this stage. It is just a rumor. Take that bit with a bit of salt, um, but we'll see what happens with that rumor as it possibly develops. Uh, or it just fades away uh, into thin air like smoke or shadows uh, <laughs> uh, but I think that overall this is a very interesting proposition now what do I think about this potential roller coaster I love it I think it could be fantastic I think it could be a wonderful addition to the park uh, obviously they've got blue fire which is a single launch roller coaster uh, but they don't have a multi-launch especially if they've got this potential dueling element going on um, especially with the big dipper seats so technically you've got winged seats at the side as well uh, I think the backwards experiments very interesting you know did they test it did Wolby not want to pay for that does your pot do want to pay for that and have like a backwards element maybe to it uh, it should be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if it is part of the ride experience. Maybe it's part of the further developed version of the Big Dipper Coaster to have uh, a backward facing row or two. But um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. I've heard rumours about it being like a, a, a Mac Di Big Dipper but more towards the style of a Mac Dive Coaster, like a new Dive Coaster concept, but sort of Big Dipper trains and just more towards a Dive Coaster. Now, if that's the truth, I would personally love that, especially with the launch as well. Imagine they've had a launch and a vertical lift and a vertical drop. I mean, that would be unbelievable. That would be like mixing Baron 1898 with Copperhead Strike. That would be unbelievable. Uh, but I think that I think overall it could be fantastic. I think the theming level, we know your part's got theming up to scale, um, you know, on the next level. So uh, in terms of theming, I'm not worried about your park not theming this. We know that your park themes all their attractions and entertainment and restaurants and everything in the park. We know they theme it up up to max. Uh, so I've got no doubts about storyline theming. Uh, fitting it in with the new area, of course, it's opening with a brand new area located on the Traumatica site. We knew that before. Um, you know, this update came about overnight, pretty much. It was midnight when this update pretty much came out from the news sources, and um, it sort of took me the whole morning and you know, nearly half the afternoon to sort of you know gradually get my thoughts together and sort of think about this. But overall, I'm pretty happy about this. So uh, comment down below what your thoughts are on this. But for now, guys, that is going to be it. Thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Shell. Keep learning the coast alive. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Europa tastic day. Comment down below how excited you are about this because I would love to know.